The Human Rights Club at Westford High School spent weeks planning a fundraiser to help South Asian victims of domestic abuse. But when the online ticket seller failed to pay them their revenue, they reached out to call for action. WBZ's Courtney Cole is here in studio with more on how WBZ stepped in to help Courtney. Kate and Liam, we reached out to this same ticket seller in the past for another nonprofit, and it turns out they've actually changed ownership and are promising to make their customers whole. This is one of the many dance performances we had. It was a celebration of South Asian culture with dance performances, a henna station, and a large buffet of traditional Indian dishes. We had like paneer, paneer um, some butter chicken, mm -hmm. and it was the right amount of spicy yeah. for everyone to enjoy. It's the food that gave this fundraiser its name. It's called Chop Masala. Hundreds turned out and the club raised $1,600 for an organization called Sahaley, which helps South Asian and Arab domestic abuse victims. It was just really wonderful and being able to give that to a charity that we know will help people. But those smiles of the student organizers soon faded when the online ticket seller, Brown Paper Tickets, failed to pay them more than $800 in ticket sales. It's honestly just really disappointing. The club's faculty advisor reached out to Brown Paper Tickets twice with no luck. It was an auto response. Well, here's your case number. We'll be in touch with you in two to three days, and nobody ever called me. Back in January, the nonprofit organization that runs organ concerts in this Methuen Music Hall, well, they ran into the same issue with the brown paper tickets. A few days after we called, they got their money. It's great news. We're getting our money finally paid out. So we reached out again on behalf of the Westford Academy Club. And a spokesperson told us events.com is in the process of requiring brown paper tickets. We can assure you that Rebecca has been paid in full. It's a good feeling because, you know, we can actually help now and we can do this event again. It was a big relief to get the money and to not have to worry about it anymore. So I'm really grateful to CBS News for all of your help. Now, in a press release about the acquisition last fall, Events.com said that brown paper tickets was hit hard during the pandemic, but a spokesperson told us that they are making progress every day to ensure that all event holders are paid. Kate, Liam. Love that we were able to get them some answers. Courtney, thank you.